going on folks it is k spade the prospect youtube's best kept secret the leader of the wolf pack the ceo of the made men and i'm back today with something new man this is an older gameplay but this was a fire gameplay i had to get it to you guys and before we get into that let me address one other thing i know i told you guys i'm gonna be your daily source of pro-am gameplay and i want you to know that i'm including my live streams so some games or some days i'm giving you guys gameplay like this that's been chopped up you got the post recorded commentary flowing i happen to think i kind of got a gift at this commentary thing i'm just flowing up just boom 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 firing off shots but in other days instead of giving you this i'm gonna give you the live stream now i like live streaming i'm gonna be honest with y'all it's a whole lot less work for me but also it allows you guys to see like the raw and uncut like it's no edits you get a chance to hear our banter back and forth whether we picking on somebody you know about getting clamped up or whether we out here working together for a strategy but i will admit it's ter in terms of flow it's not gonna flow like the commentary that i give you on gameplays like this so i'm gonna try to give you a good mix that way you guys will never know what to expect i like to keep y'all guessing man i'm weird like that you can hear the beat choice in the background first of all shout out to the homie Mello who provides me with these fire beats i wanted to go with something that was a little laid back for the day i did that by design this gameplay is one of the ones that I brag about. It's one of the ones where whatever we came out the gate doing, at some point we decided, you know what, we need to scrap this. Or we need to make revisions to it. We need to do something a little bit different. And I like to show y'all those gameplays because I don't want you to think that every game we come out here and our number one game plan works. Sometimes whatever you come to the game with don't work. <laughs> you better leave the game doing something different or you're going to leave the game with an L, one of the, one of the two. All right? Shout out to my teammates in this one, man. We got Styles at the one, me at the two, Rap at the three, Syph at the four, and Big Philly down there at the five. This is basically our shooter's lineup. Uh, Philly, even with Philly being a big, if Philly take one step inside the perimeter, the dude can catch. And, and the rest of these guys can shoot. So this is our shooter's lineup. I like this lineup. The only, and I say the only, the only issue to this lineup for me, I can't speak for the rest of the guys, for me sometimes is I want to cut to the basket like when I'm staying where they want me to be if my matchup is playing up on me I want to cut to the basket and sometimes it works sometimes I get in Styles way like when Styles is going to the basket I'll be in his way that's something to keep an eye on all right now let's get into it let's get into the meat and potatoes of this thing right here the score is six to six now look at Syph being persistent in the paint that big being even more persistent Philly was right there to say today with the offensive board to get us another opportunity to get points on this possession. But like I was saying, under two minutes to go, you got the game tied up at six apiece. Philly, I see you down there, homie. Hold up. Brain, okay, I see you, Philly. You had a six to six game with a minute to go. That's not a result of two offenses that don't know what they're doing. Defensively, both of these teams are kind of locked in and they're making the other team work a little bit harder for these points. I like this. I like when a game come down like this because it's going to be about whoever makes the best adjustment or maybe even the last adjustment. We make an adjustment and if they make an adjustment to our adjustment, we're going to have to make another one. I like that. 35 seconds on the shot clock. I lied. 35 seconds on the quarter game clock. We almost out of the first quarter. 12 to 10 is your score. I would like to set this up where we had a last shot, but we don't do that. We don't go hold for last shot. We got this thing over here, last or best. If they give you a, a best look, you got to take it. Like that right there. We go straight down the middle of the lane, crash that down, left hand, boom, for Styles. I like it. 14-12. Now, we put these guys in a situation where they could possibly have the last shot. And it looks like, judging from the looks of things, they want the last shot. Until we give them something that they can't turn their head on. Everybody cuts to the basket. We all up in there, though. Beautiful. We come away with the steal. Pushing the tempo, Styles goes all the way to the rack with the left hand. Can't get it to go, it's gonna rim out. That's all we got for the first quarter. Second quarter, I still think uh, we was in our original gameplay. I'm trying to see, I'm gonna watch the gameplay and see when I think we changed it up. But at this point, I think offensively, we are still doing the same thing. Now let's see. Defensively, looks like we're still in the 2-3. Great hustle right here by Styles. That's a big time steal. Presence of mind to get the timeout to make sure it's not a turnover. And now we get a chance to take over this possession where we can even build on this little small lead that we got. Okay, so shout out to the homie Styles. This is when Styles executes what I'm calling the game plan. I'm doing air quotes like y'all can see me over here. Styles of Spade, this is what I want to do. We're going to run the offense through you. And I was like, 
wait, with my shark? Because I, I don't really think that's the move. He said, no, I'm not saying I want you to bring it down the court. I'm just, no, oh, great read by the defender right there. So what I'm saying is, we're going to come down and set up in our traditional offensive set. I'm going to come in and swing it to you, and you read the defense. Like, after I dump it to you, I'm taking off. You can either throw it back to me, you can find rap, you, whatever. We're going to run it through you. And I said, uh, okay, let's see how that works. Right here, the ball movement broke the defense. Rainmaker, it goes back to me. Long range, big time perimeter shot right there. I like it. I'm like, okay, Styles, hold up. You might have just did something right there, cuz. Hold up. Run into my spot again. Styles comes down. No need to dump it to me. Had a straight open lane, but that's what I'm talking about. That one little revision. He come down and throw it to me. The next time he come down to the defense, they don't know if it's going to me. They don't know if he's going to keep it. And that's what I like. That's what I'm always telling my guys. I like what we do on offense. It works. But I like having revisions. I like being able. Matter of fact, I hate to compare two different games, but let me talk my shit for a minute. One of the things that I used to really like when I was heavy in mutt. Now, I, I don't really play mutt anymore. That's a whole nother story. Me and Madden ain't getting along right now. But when I was heavy in mutt, what I like to do, I would find a formation with like five different plays that look identical. And I would kill you on a drive because I would start off every play and it would look like the last play, but it could be something completely different. And I would get you instead of just playing organically, you would be trying to guess what you think I'm going to do. And that's what you mess up. That's what we are able to do in this game thanks to this new revision we've added to our offense. Now on the defensive end, I talked over the fact that we switched it up on defense too. We decided we wanted to go man. So we're going man defense on offense. We kind of running the offense through me unless the defense looked like they cheating over to me. When we finish the first half, we got a small lead. 31-28. The crazy thing is that we are shooting a worse percentage from the field than unwanted. The difference is, like, we started slow, but we definitely got an up arrow now. Second half, let's see how we start things off. I'm going to hold it. Wait. Really couldn't hit Styles. I mean, I really hit him at the wrong time right there, but it still broke the defense. Ball movement kept going around until we found the open shooter. Bang, bang, chicken wing. Hey, that's great basketball, y'all. I don't care what nobody say. That's great basketball. That right there is what you want to see. Now, defensively, I still see some room for improvement. We're in man defense. They're cutting. They're doing things like this. 2K, I, I got a request. I got a request. I'm seeing a lot of people be able to pass out of shots. I'm going to tell you what I think about passing out of shots. If, if I'm going up for a shot and I bring it down and I dump it to somebody beside me, I'm good with that. But if I'm at the rim and I bring it down and I throw it to somebody 20 feet behind me, I, I don't know about that one, 2K. I just, I don't know. I don't see that happen very often. I don't, I don't see that happen very often in real life. And that happens a little too frequently for me in this game. That's just my own personal opinion. But let's get back to it. Styles goes, he was expecting the pass to come out right there. Goes for the reach, gets whistled. Now, look, it's a two-point game. These guys are definitely on the way back. Look at the play work to perfection right there. The play works to perfection. And we don't have to do this every single time. We just got to do it enough that they are afraid that it might be that. That's all we got to do. Defensively, though, we still got to get right over here. We're giving up a lot more than I want to see us give up. We know that they want to cut to the basket. We was right there. Great way to just be in the way. And let's wrap with that doggone shot creator. Them creators love that moving shot. We got some momentum. They got to get a timeout. They probably a little frustrated over there. We come right back on the offensive end. Styles finds me. I'm going to hold it. Look, you see his defender was all the way in the paint. See, he, instead of just playing organically, he is trying to guess what he think we're going to do. And I'm open. I'm open. Oh, man, I got that guy late. I fried it when I got it. That happens mentally to me. When I'm open like that for a long time, like the clock in my head be ticking and I rush myself, even when the defense may or may not be there. I just be open for so long. I be like, give it to me, give it to me. And I end up rushing myself. I got to get better on that, though. Here we go. 35-41 is your score. Less than two minutes left in the third. Defensively, I feel like we can tighten up. But offensively, I think we got them right where we want them. I feel like, oh, no. Oh, he fried it. I was about to say. I feel like we scoring every time down. If we not, like, we pretty damn close to scoring every time down. You know we got momentum when they let me make this shot right here. Kind of fried the release. Didn't get it right. Shot still goes down. That's that 2K momentum for you. Fourth quarter action. Put them damn fours in the air, y'all. I'm feeling good out here. I think we got him right where we want him. And offense was the key. Now, I say great defense leads to easy offense. We haven't had many of those situations. Talk one up right here, though. Great block. 
Styles just turns around, goes straight to the basket. Beeline, no, no need to do anything fancy right there. We got them by double digits. If they got anything left in the tank, they better break it out right here. Like, the game plan was, was brilliant. Styles, bro. The game plan was brilliant, bro. They get by us right here. Nice little give and go of some sort. Seems to be working. They might be trying to take a page out of our book. We'll take it, though. We'll take it. Like, if we're going to match bucket for bucket right here, look. Same principle this time we just went to Philly. If they're going to match us bucket for bucket at this point, it's a little too late. 11-point game with four minutes to go. They need some threes, and I don't think we're going to give many of those up or any of those up. Defensively, we swarming now. You can tell we feeling it. We are everywhere, and they're just trying to get a look. Look at them red jerseys, man. It looked like we everywhere. Philly blocked that one from the ground. Philly was on the ground and blocked that first one. Ended up getting two blocks on that possession. Now, offensively at this point in the game, we don't feel the need to rush it. Now, I'm not going to say we're going to go super conservative and just drag out the clock. We still got to do what got us the lead, but we don't feel the, the urge to score real quick in the shot clock. Case in point right here, I think everybody on the floor in a red jersey anyway touched the ball on that possession when we finally got a basket we was in single digits on the shot clock that's perfect like you can't draw it up no better than that the man defense is gonna get us you know through like i said if anything we might give up a deuce we ain't giving up no threes and they really need threes to get back in the game and they need stops which is something that they are struggling to get check us out right here defensively look at the move man i know mine is trying to cut i'm not allowing that styles getting a Aggressive on the defensive end, reaching at the right time. We got the steal, but then Philly turned it over. So they get the ball back. It's only a minute 25 on the clock, man. Y'all know what this, y'all know what this one is. I'm gonna show you a little bit more, man. Some few other plays I want to show you. More than anything, I want to give a little bit of credit, and I hate to do this, man, because every once in a while, Styles getting his bag. You know, we all get in our bag where we be talking our trash about how nice we are. But that the switch up of the game plan was just brilliant. And I told him the day we ran this game, I said. I like that we did that. And I wouldn't care if we added this to the arsenal and, and had this as an option every game. I'm not saying we should do it every game, but I think adding it as an option every game, I think it'll be huge for us because it looks just like what we typically do. I don't know. So anyway, man, last minute of the game, they go back to the rack right there, get a basket. I'm going to show another bucket or two, and we're going to get up out of here. I hate to ruin it for you like that in case y'all was thinking like they had this, this big triumphant comeback, but nah, they didn't. Philly in the paint. He's going to dunk that one down. I draw the curtains right here. That was a hell of a game. Hell of a game plan. And, and actually, man, hell of a fight. Like, until we made the adjustment, these dudes was right there. So kudos to them. They was hooping. But that is all I got for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor. Drop a like on this video. If you new, hit subscribe. Daily Pro-Am gameplay, fam. Right here. You came to the right spot. That's all I got for today, folks. I'm out the next time, y'all. Peace.